um, let's uh, continue with our Coptic lesson. Um, so we're, we're up to lesson nine. We're almost finished with the Coptic letters. We only have um, these three letters, and then we have two more letters next week, and then we would have learned all of the Coptic letters. So let's get some volunteers here to, um, to review for us the Coptic letters. Um, Andrew, can you do the first one, please? No, no, it's me, Thomas, but I don't know why my name says that. That's my brother. Okay, Thomas, go ahead. Um, alpha, A, Rita, V or B, um, E, E, and Rita, V. Thank you. Thank you, Thomas. Dina, can you do the next one? I am. Um, I don't um, I come on K may M nay N. Thank you, Mina. Uh, Dina, can you do the next one? Oh, oh, like a knot. Mm -hmm. Sima is looks like a C, but it's actually an S as in city. Mm -hmm. And tough. In tov, tov is a T like in test, mm -hmm. and U is and U is like O A like in board. Very good, Dina. Thank you, uh, Anthony. Next, Eta makes like an E or a double E sound, like a long E. Yes. O looks like a P. It's pronounced as R. Key looks like an S, an X. Uh, it's um like a K or a KH or an SH. Very good. Thank you, Anthony. Okay, next. Uh, Ahab. Gamma. It sounds like G or GH. Delta. Uh, sounds like D. Or diff, um, Lola, and sounds like L. Very good, thank you. Um, Elora, the next one. Ginger, it sounds like a G or a J. Okay, can you start from the top here? Uh, it sounds like a P as in Paul. Polly, it sounds like an H as in house. And Ginger, that sounds like a G, and then go or a J, as in joy. Thank you, Laura. Uh, next, uh, we have Emily. Can you do the next one, Emily? Um, I don't want to. Okay, Emily, no problem. Um, Gabby, the next one. Shy, as in SH, Theta, as in. T H or T V as in P H. Good, thank you, Gabby. Uh, Jacob, next. No, thank you. Okay. Jamie, next one. Uh, Epsi as in uh, um, Salmos, which is Salm. Yes. And Phi, which is like F. In Theo mm -hmm. and T, uh, T uh, as in so T. Yeah, yeah. So, so, so T. Yes, good. T, uh, remember, um, is like two letters together. It's like the T and the I together. So, like exactly like you said, so T, so T, good. So T. Okay, thank you. So, th the next letter that we have is called Su. Um, it, it kind of looks like an E with, with, a, with a dash on top of it. This dash on top, um, if I take any letter and I put a dash on top of it, I make it a number. Um, the, the letter SU, if we count the alphabet, we have alpha, vita, gamma, delta, E, SU. So it's the sixth um, letter in the Coptic alphabet. So it's the number six. So that's how you write numbers in Coptic. If you take the alpha, you put a dash on top of it, it becomes the number one. You take the vita, put a dash on it, becomes the number two, and so on and so forth. We'll have a lesson on the numbers, 
but just so we are aware. So SU uh, is the number six. And actually that's the only uh, use of it um, in, in Coptic is SU, which is the number six. So here in this example, we have P and Yota and SU. So we have P SU, and then we have NE, which is an N, T, uh, Tav, which is a T, E, N, and then the H, the Hori. So this is N, Ten. So P, Su, N, Ten. Su is six, P, The. So The six, and then N, Ten, Ten is wings. So The six wings, P, Su, N, Ten. Okay, so that's the letter Su. Sometimes it's, it's called Su, sometimes it's Su. -u. Uh, so I, I've heard it being pronounced, you know, both ways. The next letter is called Exi, Exi. Exi looks like two Zs on top of each other. Like you draw a Z and then you draw another Z on, uh, underneath it. This is the, it's pronounced like an X, like, like in the word fix, X. So the example here, we have O, we have Rho, which is an R, Theta, which is a TH, O again, Delta, which is a D or Z in this case, O, and then we have the XE. So this is the X sound and then O, N. So we have ortho, ortho, zuxon, ortho, zuxon, ortho, zuxon, which means orthodox. So this is XE. And then the last letter for today is epsilon. Epsilon, this is a very, very important letter because it's in many, many words. Um, and, and probably also uh, the most difficult letters, letter because it has three different ways of pronunciation and they're different. Um, not like, for example, Jinja, which could be a G or a J or a Gamma, which could be a G or a GH, you know, they're close, but Epsilon here, uh, it's a vowel and it has like three different ways of pronunciation. So what are the three ways? It could be a V, it could be an O, or it could be an E. And I'll tell you the rules in just a minute. But it could be a V, like the word nave. Like here, this it's a V. So we have Sima, which is an S, Tav, Alpha. And then here we have a V. So this is Tav, and then this is Rho, O, Sima, Ros, Stav, Ros, Stav, Ros, which means cross. In this example here, it is an O. So we have Yota, U, Alpha, Ne, Ne, O, Epsilon. So it's an O. So this is U, N, No. So this is an O. And in this example here, it's an E. So this is, we have Kappa, E, R, I, E, Kyrie, like we say, Kyrie, Leison, right? Lord. So what are the rules of the Jinkim? There are three rules, but they're actually easy if we, yeah, if, if you learn them the way I'm going to teach you. If epsilon follows an alpha or an E, it's a V. So if epsilon comes after an alpha, it's a V, or an, uh, comes after an E, it's a V. So if it's after an alpha, it's of, after an E, it's ev, so it's a V. If it follows an O, it's another O, so it makes a longer O sound. So O epsilon becomes like two O's. And anything else, it's an E, okay? So again, if epsilon comes after an A or an E, it's a V. If it comes after an O, it's an O. Anything else, it's an E. So if we go back to the examples that we were looking at here. So here, epsilon is after what? It's after an A. So that's why this is a V. Stav Rus. In this example, it's coming after an O. So it's an O. So we have U N no. So it's an O. In this example, the last example, it's the third case, which is anything else. And so it is an E. So we have Kyrie. Okay. Any questions about the epsilon? Can you go back to the um, slide about the rules? Thank you. Yes. So we'll review it one more time. Epsilon, after an A or an E, it's a V. After an O, it's an O. Anything else, it's an E. If you just repeat that in, in your head a couple of times and you'll get it. 
If it's after an A or an E, it's a V. After an O, it's an O. Anything else, it's an E. I have a question. Yes? Um, if you put a line on top, since there are 34 letters in the Coptic alphabet, then, um, then there would be 10 numbers. So then how, how would you add a, how would you make 11 in Coptic? Yes, we, we, we will, we will talk about that when we talk about the numbers. Uh, it's a very interesting lesson that we will, we will have in a few weeks. Um, but you go, basically you go from one to 10 and then after that you add numbers together. So you, if you want 11, 11 is like 10 and one. 12 would be 10 and two. I don't want to confuse you by about that now because like I said, we'll have a whole lesson about it. But just, well, I wanted to introduce it because Sue is number six. So I wanted to explain to you how we, how did we get that? Okay. So wait a couple of weeks and then we'll learn the numbers together. I have a question. Yes. Um, so can we translate the prayer, our father uh, in Coptic using the methods you give us? Yes, we, we will actually also have a, uh, a lesson on that, and we will uh, learn the, the Lord's Prayer all in Coptic, and we'll see the, the, the words and what they translate to word for word and then phrase by phrase. Okay, thank you. Sure. All right, so let's, let's practice reading. So let's read some words together. Um, so yes, please raise your hand, um, and then once we finish the people who volunteered, then we will pick on other people. Um, so Anthony, you have your hand up. Can you say the first word here? Um, Good. Uh, uh, and then this is the letter we learned today. Sue. Sue for six. Yes. Agpsu. Very good. Agpsu which means what? The sixth hour. We took Agbit before, means hour, and Su we learned, which is six. Thank you, Anthony. Okay, next we have uh, Thomas. Big word, but I know you can handle it. Hello, can you hear me? Hello? Hey, we can barely hear you, Habibi. Can you speak up? Sorry, my computer is glitching. Doxologia. Very good. See, I know you could do it. Doxologia or geia. Doxologia, which is doxology. So this is the delta O, and then this is the letter we learned today, the XE. Doxologia. Good, thank you. Sorry, my okay. laptop was glitching. It's okay, it's okay. All right, next, uh, Mina, can you do the next one? Okay, I, I can't hear you, Mina. Uh, Dina, can you do this one? So this is the epsilon that we learned, and we said if it comes after an A or an E, it's what? Do you remember? If it's an A or an E, it would be... You get it mixed up. It would be a V, right? Oh, yeah, a V. Um... Yes, it would be a V. So we have E, V, A, which would be what? E, V. E. E. It would be Eva. E-V-A would be Eva. Eva. Eva, which is Eve. You know, Adam and Eve, right? Okay, good. Uh, Marella, you want to do the next one? Um, Esna. Very good. S nav here epsilon again after an A, so it's a V. S nav, which means two. 
So the number two is nav, is, uh, that's how you write it. Okay, next, let's see who hasn't had a chance yet. Um, Emily Sehun, do you wanna try this one? Okay, Mariam Jacob, wanna try this one? Man love. Yes, yes, good. Man love, M-A-N-L-A-V, because again, it's after an alpha, so it's a V, so man love. Man love is the Coptic word for what we call today in each of the city of Malawi. Malawi is man love. Again, remember I told you many of the, um, uh, especially the old, uh, cities in Egypt, obviously they are Coptic. Okay, the next one. Oh, this is a very easy one. Let's see who is next. Marianne. Alleluia. Yes, yes. A big word, but actually, like many letters are repeated. Mm -hmm. alpha, alpha L and then L eta and Le. Lo here, the epsilon is after an O, so it's another O. So it's Alleluia, Alleluia, which means praise God. Alleluia. Okay, next one. Uh, Mario, can you do the next one? I'm, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, what's the first letter? This is the capital N. Man. Yes. No. Something. And here the, the yes. epsilon is after an O, so it's another O. And this and this is a sima, which is an S. Manos. Nanus. Manus. Nan, yes, nanus, exactly. Nanus in Arabic, which means doll, right? It's actually a Coptic word, nanus. Okay, uh, next, uh, let's see, uh, Nadia? Uh, okay, so it could be, be like an E. So key, yes. ta, ra. Excellent. Okay. Yes. It's F, It's not an A, it's not an E, it's not an O, so it must be the third uh, rule, which is an E. So it's ki, thara, ki thara, which means har. Good. Okay. Uh, next, we have uh, Noura. You want to try the next one? It is uh, exos. Very axios, axios. axios, exactly, axios. Alpha and then the X C I O S axios. You know when we chant, we say ah, ah, ah axios. That's the word, axios, which means worthy. Very good. All right. So um, the the Coptic word that we'll learn for this week, who remembers the one that we learned last week, by the way? It was good morning. Who remembers how to say good morning in Coptic? I remember it starts with an N. Yeah, it starts with an N. Nane? Nane Atoi. Very good. Nane Atoi. So today we'll learn how to say good evening. So it's also Nane. And then evening is Rohi. R O. Here at the epsilon again after the O, so it's another O, and then Hori and Yota, so Rohi, Nane Rohi, Nane Rohi, which means good evening. So you want to tell somebody good morning, you say Nane at Oi. You want to tell somebody good evening, you say Nane Rohi. Okay. So to review the letters that we learned today, uh, we learned Su or Su. This is the number six. We learned Exi which looks like, uh, like two Zs and it's pronounced like an X. And we learned the very important letter epsilon. Uh, I say it's very important because you'll find it in many, many words. You know, pick up any text in Coptic 
and you'll find epsilon almost in every other word you'll find epsilon. Um, so epsilon, uh, if it comes after an A or an E, it's a V. If it comes after an O, it's an O. Anything else, it's an E. One more time, epsilon. After an A or an E, it's a V. After an O, it's an O. Anything else, it is an E. Any questions about the Coptic? 